requirement for locomotion. <laughs> Correct. This bank was opened here in Liyue by Snezhnaya. Though everyone knows Liyue is the most enterprising in Tevat, Snezhnaya is not short of change either. Yeah, well, poorer nations don't seem the type to have diplomats that come around acting the way yours do towards the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> here, let me give you this. This is a... I'm not sure exactly. Sometimes all money can buy is things, and not a name for oneself. All I know is that it's a sigil. A sigil to keep the mighty and illuminated Adepti from bringing harm to you. Adepti? If you head north from the harbor, then west from Guili Plains, you will eventually reach a stone forest known as Jueyun Karst. The people of Liyue believe it to be the abode of the Adepti. Legend or not, they believe it. As such, offerings to the Adepti are made at its borders. Nobody dares venture in. But I have no need for believing, not when I know for a fact that the Adepti truly exist. Hate to admit it, but your Fatui intel seems all right. But why would we go looking for Adepti anyway? <laughs> oh, my little friend. There are plenty of reasons mortals seek the blessings of Adepti. Money, health, love. But you, you will go for justice. Justice? The Chi Sing will already have dispatched the Millilith. They'll be seeking out the assassin from amongst the onlookers. But how could a mere mortal kill a god that can sweep aside entire armies? Rex Lapis never gave up his power as a god. This level of crude response is beyond what is called for. How suspicious. Your thinking is even more radical than my own, honorary knight. Even now, the Northland Bank wouldn't be able to hold the Millilith off for long but the Adepti can clear you of any wrongdoing. Liyue was founded by the Geo Archon and the Adepti. Of course, it was built by force. Look for them, and be faster than the Chi Sing's messengers, so you may give your version of events first. If there is anyone that can help you in Liyue now, it can only be the mighty and illuminated Adepti.
You can't run! Incoming! Off we go! Don't blink! You give, you receive. That's everything. On to the next. Thank <laughs> you. 
demonstrates at one one hundred You can't run! I suppose it wasn't too much trouble. You give, you receive. I suppose it wasn't too much trouble. Ah, even better than I imagined. It's my lucky day.
And who might we be? Those that dare enter Dreyun Karst. A sigil of permission. Many a season has passed since one was last in the presence of such an item. He before you is the mighty and illuminated Adeptus, Mooncarver. Speak, Traveler. What business have you here? Actually... It's the Assassin! They dared to flee here to Juryun Karst. Uh, sir, we've already stepped too far into Juryun Karst ourselves. We... Ah, there's no choice. Apprehending the Assassin is top priority. We must press on. Disturbing our borders. See them gone. One will not have interruption. Two arms! Nowhere to hide. Take the target! Speed of light! <laughs> Incoming! Invested! Witness the power of Gugwa! Rain outlines your fate! With sword comes shadow! Don't blink! Incoming! Cut to the chase! Take the target alive! With sword from shadow. Don't blink. Speed of light. Nowhere to hide. Incoming. Speed of light. Preposterous. Preposterous! The Liyue Qixin. Utterly disappointing. How could someone possibly assassinate Rex Lapis during the Rite of Dissension? And then place suspicion upon the attendees! Hmm. Traveler. Of the unjust accusations placed upon you, one has become aware. The mind knows its answer. Though one must consult with one's fellows, lest the mind be misguided. Go, take your sigil of permission. Carry with you a message. Mountain Shaper and Cloud Retainer can be found here. Only fate will decide if you shall find them. Only fate. There exists a conqueror of demons, a guardian Yaksha. Go to Wangshu Inn. There you shall seek him.
to the blind, everything may not be as it appears. A sigil of permission? You came prepared. Though this only prevents me from hurting you myself, doesn't stop you from getting hurt in other ways. Uh... Paimon doesn't get it. Too much contact with our world is breaking the rules. Mortal souls are not as robust as those of Adepti, nor can your blood carry this level of adeptal energy. It's for your own good. Leave. Now. Wait a sec! We came here to... Ugh! Paimon's peeved! All he does is think about himself! Paimon wants to give him an ugly nickname! But if you tick off an Adeptus, the only thing you'll probably ever find in treasure chests is cabbages. Blech. <sighs> Guess we should go ask the boss lady of the inn about just how she manages to talk to Adepti. already met Xiao. Not bad. Not often he's in a good enough mood to agree to see people. That's his good mood? Oh yes. The Adepti are very hard to come by. Many people go their whole lives praying to them, never once actually getting to see one. When the Geo Archon built Liyue, he borrowed power from the Adepti. But most of them only know how to protect Liyue by fighting. So for many millennia, it has instead been humans who have led Liyue you really know a lot, huh, boss lady? <laughs> it's not boss lady, it's just boss. Anyway, seeing as you have the favor of the Adepti, things should be a lot easier. Well, if you want to know my opinion, if you keep Xiao in a good mood, things should be okay. Good mood? Can't really imagine what a good mood looks like for that vigilant Yaksha. <laughs> Will be interesting, won't it? Come to think of it, I've never seen him smile either. How about this? You go see the chef for a bowl of almond tofu and a plate of whatever it is you're best at making. Almond tofu is one of the few human foods Xiao likes. The other dish is up to you. Up to us, eh? Hmm, what do you think you're the best at cooking? Really hard to screw that one up, right? Can't you see I'm on a break, kid? Scram! Scram! Whoa! This chef guy's service is about as good as that Wagner guy's back in Mondstadt. <sighs> I see. If it's for the boss, then guess I don't have a choice now, do I? But my heart's not really in it right now. Not enough to make a dessert as painstaking as almond tofu. And why is that? A fencer's hand must be steady. So too must the hand of a chef. But my hands, I'm... They're not steady. Because uh, a, a traveler once told me that this inn is haunted. And then just now, just now, in the kitchen, I saw something. Something not right. This chef looks so intimidating, but speak of ghosts and he becomes weak. I keep thinking. Even Wang Shu Inn isn't safe. 
I can't keep a steady hand for something like almond tofu. All right, in the name of high quality almond tofu, we need to go check this kitchen out. Doesn't seem to be anything. Saw it too. There really is a ghost. What? How could I? <gasps> okay, so he's useless now. What do we do? Forget it. Let's just go see the boss lady again. <laughs> Scared of something so insignificant. Hard to believe he was once a notorious bandit. You don't seem that afraid of ghosts, boss lady. Gods and ghosts. I've seen it all before. Come to think of it, others don't seem to know there's an adeptus here at the inn except for the boss lady. Shh. Say any more and you'll be divulging my little secret. Right. Best you two be off. Go see to it that that little ghost doesn't go scaring anybody else. Not that I'm ordering you around. It's like the Adeptus said, mortal souls are not as robust as those of the Adepti. So as not to be harmed when dealing with the Adepti, you can start by practicing with that ghost. There is a calligraphy painting in the inn known as the Witness Sigil. It's been in circulation for over a thousand years. Go take a look at it. Once you have, look for a place outside where you can see the exact same Witness Sigil formation. <laughs> 